difficult to just um, imagine without a very detailed simulation. So the, usually for our system, we usually prefer the customer do the simulation first. They can identify where's the bottleneck and how to optimize the system layout. They can try different uh, solution without um, uh, any investment on the hardware. Hello, we are at Planner Motor booth at Automatica. Let's talk to Dr. Lu, founder of Planner Motor, about the um, robotics industry, what are their offerings, and the value of simulation in general. So, first of all, Dr. Lu, how are you? Good, good, yeah, yeah. thank you for coming. <laughs> Stop by our booth, yeah, thank you. So, if we think about the current trends in robotics and automation industry, how is Planner Motor addressing those with their strategy and offering? Yeah, we noticed the two very obvious trends. So one is the flexibility. So you know, today the product change very fast. So you know, the product in the next month may be very different from this month. Mm. And even the product in the morning and then the afternoon may be different. Mm. Also, it could be some extreme case, like say, bite size one, every product is different. So they need a very extremely flexible production line to meet such a kind of new manufacturing needs. So our product, it's fully driven by software. So each mover can have a unique motion path, have a unique um, motion capability. Mm -hmm. So to perfectly meet the needs, because it's fully driven by software. So you can change the uh, workflow for every mover mm -hmm. and then create a different product. Yeah, so this is one trend. The second trend we notice is the um, smaller footprint. Mm -hmm. So right now the floor space is very critical, particularly in clean room. Mm -hmm. So all the production facility, they prefer as the lower the uh, footprint. Mm -hmm. So our system is uh, the more integrated robot functionality and also the transfer capability together. Mm -hmm. So you can have um, one work, uh, work cell here, second work cell here, the third work cell here. Mm -hmm. So it's a lot of the robotic functionality already done by the more, mm -hmm. no external robot. If you have external robot like an articulated arm robot, then the, they always need like arm space. Mm. So one robot is here, the next robot needs to be quite far away because of the mm. interference of the mechanical arm. Mm. So our system, we don't have mechanical arm, mm. so it's a greatly shrink the space allowed. So this is perfectly meet the needs of a smaller footprint requirement of the customers. Mm -hmm. Very interesting. And when you talked about the software-driven product, um, how do you see the value of simulation for, for this business and for your product? I would say simulation is really important mm. uh, because uh, our system much, much more complicated than traditional transfer system, like mm. a conveyor. Mm. Conveyor, you really need, don't need much uh, simulation. Everybody can imagine moving from here to here. Mm. <laughs> Very simple. But our system, the path is so complicated, each mover can go anywhere to everywhere. Mm. So it's a very complicated system. It's difficult to just um, imagine without a very detailed simulation. So the, usually for our system, we usually prefer the customer do the simulation first. They can identify where's the bottleneck mm. and how to optimize the system layout. They can try different uh, solution without um, uh, any investment on the hardware. So that is important. They have them optimize the layout and then identify the bottom, bottleneck. Then they iterate the iteration, uh, the simulation until the, sim the result is good. Then they implement the best the solution. So, now interesting. And uh, I see that the uh, I see the visual component simulation running on the screen. So, um, why did you choose visual components, and why did you uh, choose visual components for the add-on that we built? Okay, that's a good question. So actually, this was asked by one for our customers. Our customer, they bought our system. Then they mentioned they want to simulate with a viral component because mm -hmm. they are also a customer of viral components. Mm -hmm. And then they linked us to one of your colleague, Hans, mm -hmm. and they say, okay, can we do the simulation? We are more than happy to do that. Mm -hmm. And then they told Hans, okay, we are more than happy to do it. We take care of everything. Then we develop the, our team, develop the add one uh, module mm -hmm. and give it to you. We Upload to your the uh, forum, so mm. everybody can use it free. So we just you know, make our customer happy, make a all for your customer if they want to do the simulation for playing the motor. Right now it's ready. Mm -hmm. All right, thank you very much for talking to us and have a great show. Yeah, thank you very much for stopping by. Yeah, thank you. Mm -hmm.